Hey guys, this is your host Adi and welcome to Comic Space and today we are finally going to talk about the film that I kind of forgot about that film was even coming out and we are going to talk about Armor Wars featuring Don Cheadle and Marvel Studios itself they haven't talked a lot about the film and I personally haven't made that many videos about it specifically about Armor Wars because there have not been that much of an information to talk over it so we are finally going to talk about Armor Wars and Marvel Studios is finally making progress on that film we are going to talk about when we can expect it to come out we are also going to talk about in Kang recast it is still quite early but one of the name has come up so we are also going to talk about that and what is going on with Avengers 5 so we have a lot to talk about let's dive into it straight away so the first update is coming from Daniel RPK we cover him frequently on the channel and give a lot more reverence to any other industry insider and he also have a quite impeccable track record as well so let's get as you went on to state that Marvel Studios is looking forward to lock the director for the project in the fourth quarter of this year and which is quite a major update because that means they also have a script done up that means they be also looking forward to get their pre-production stuff done in this very year so they can get the film in production by 2025. So this year in 24 we actually have a bunch of projects getting into production and resuming their production and Marvel Studios is making lots of arrangement and rearrangement this year and again there have been a quite long wait for Marvel Studios to get back on the work due to the writer strike and SAG after strike so it Armor Wars have been one of those projects that couldn't guard the pace up because they were hit by strikes just right away so there have been not too much information regarding Armor Wars because Marvel Studios haven't been able to make any progress regarding that project but it is a quite a major project because Armor Wars right now, it is the closest thing that we can get to an actual live action Iron Man film. That is the closest that we can get. So obviously the original Iron Man, we don't have him in the main continuity of the MCU. And they are not resuming the Iron Man franchise. So obviously this is the closest as you can get to a live action Iron Man film. So obviously Armor Wars is going to be very important. And it is one of those Iron Man legacy projects that Marvel Studios is building up. Obviously we are going to have War Machine, I'm not sure how long that War Machine is going to be staying in the multiverse saga or is he even going to be part of Avengers 5 and there is a quite chance that we also get to see lots of iron armor superheroes coming up continuing that Iron Man legacy storyline that Marvel Studios has evidently building up. Obviously right now we only have like War Machine and Ironheart and obviously Marvel Studios giving both of them major projects like I mean Ironheart is getting its own Disney Plus series and Armor Wars is going to be a feature length film. So these are very two major films coming up and these are very major projects coming up. So talking about the release date, so when we can expect Armor Wars. So I think it's been a quite while and we probably would have got the film very early but, but obviously there have been a quite a rift in past for Marvel Studios. They also have been figuring out their quality over quantity thing so and this year we are getting only one film so Armor Wars the film is probably going to be in the production by 2025 so we can expect it around like 26 so I think it is probably gonna take them a quite a good year given rewrites may happen or reshoots happen so probably a good old year so as we are talking about 2026 of MCU we are also going to talk about the biggest film of the year if it releases in 2026 and that is going to be Avengers 5 which was previously called Avengers Kang Dynasty but obviously after the whole major situation they have renamed the film to Avengers 5 only. So as this update is also coming from Daniel RPK and he have went on to state that Coleman Domingo is one of the names that have been come up as the new Kang the Conqueror in the MCU and again as himself he have told that it is still quite early but it is one of the names that has been come up and I personally think Marvel Studios looking forward to in Kang's recast it kind of feels like it is very early but recently we have heard about that Marvel Studios plans to get into the production for Avengers 5 in, in late months of the 2024 that means this year that means they are actually moving very quickly on that Avengers 5 film and it may seem very early but given that how big of the caliber that film is and obviously Marvel Studios work on this Avengers film for multi years I, those films require a very extensive amount of work even the pre-production the getting it to the pre-production and getting everybody 
and obviously after then you have post production and the vfx given the caliber of the movie i think it is so marvel studios is obviously leaving themselves a breathing room there are a couple of other names also have come up as the kang the conqueror recast but i don't think so that we are going to have any official announcement regarding anything or even just five for a while unless it is at san diego comic con this year or it may be at d23 expo this year so unless these two events i don't i don't expect to hear any official news regarding avengers 5 and i am quite certain that avengers 5 won't be coming out in 2026 and marvel studios themselves would like to leave a room and major thing behind that thought is that avengers 5 will not release in 26 as they decided to release it because they have a lot of setup to do we were just talking about armor wars what about spider-man 4 that they are in currently in development what about eternals 2 what about doctor strange 3 what about the young avengers film which reportedly has been in the works as in feature length film which is a quite a major film again so we are talking about all of these projects we are talking of feature length films i haven't got into disney plus stuff kind of see that way where they should be before we get into stuff like secret wars this very year there are like four projects getting into the production and resuming their production and mouse studios is making some serious serious change they have recently Daredevil born again they have recently started from scratch and have started shooting from a total different angle they're making major changes to wonder man series so given all of that avengers 5 is not looking to be table on for 2026 late and the kang recast obviously they are going to be named popping up obviously marvel studios may be referring to actors and they may be making lists but they are obviously not giving anybody any major concrete contracts or anything so i think it is quite early and as it looks like 2024 is going to be something but coming up next years 2025 and 2026 they are just going to be jam packed and whenever i get back to the topic of the future slate or avengers film and i think i just get carried away because there's just so much to talk to about and there's just so much uncertainty regarding these projects and obviously when they're going to come up and who's going to be on the team and i mean there's just so much awesome stuff is coming up and i did got carried away there but again i think i think i just got too much time on that topic so okay i think this is the time where i just see you off but that's it for this video guys but before you go you can consider to grab that subscribe button so don't miss out on any of the latest marvel or dc update thanks for listening to me this is your host adi signing off see you in the next one